guys, before we jump into today's part, off camera, I went ahead and aged Bliss up, and she grew up into a beautiful, beautiful teenager, and definitely in the next part, we're gonna have to go visit her because she is just looking, she's looking mighty fine. Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back finally to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions. So as you guys saw in the intro, I went ahead and aged Bliss up off camera, and she's now a teenager, and we'll be heading back over with Cassandra and Bliss, and maybe the next part we'll do like a half and half part, half this family, half the goth family. Um, but yeah, we're back with the main LP family, and it's super early today, actually. I believe it's 5 a.m., and in this part, we're going to be doing a little bit of collecting and skill building. So I'm going to have Alexander marry a ghost because, <laughs> you know, he's in the ghost hunter profession. It makes sense. So I'm going to be going the Ambrosia route with him, which in case you don't know, it is the most complicated recipe in The Sims 3, it is crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and read off what we're going to have to do with Mr. Alexander here to make it. It's pretty much a dish that um, you feed the ghost and they will become human. So here we go. Or I don't think they come human. It's something like they move into your household. But if they do come human, that works too. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to read more into it. I actually forget. But here we go. So the recipe book to make it cost 12,000 simoleons right off the bat. It's like you need a lot of simoleons to get the book. Level 10 cooking. A perfect quality everything pretty much. A death fish and also a life fruit. Now these are the skills that we have to rank up for us to get... Um, be able to make it, we have a fishing skill level 5, cooking skill level 10, and a gardening level 7. So there is so much to do to get him his like little wifey. So it's going to be a bit of a journey, but I just think the whole Ambrosia route would be great for him. I actually did it once. Once in my Supernatural LP, and oh my gosh, it was so much work. Let me just say that, it was ridiculous, but Portia's awake, so... She's going to go ahead and use the toilet. Um, I honestly want to do like a huge house revamp, like change the shape of it and everything. I don't know. It's just been really pissing me off. Like I tried to redo the kitchen a little bit just to make it like a little bit more livable for me. I don't know why, but this house is just not my cup of tea. But I like redid the kitchen a little bit just to make it a little bit more, I guess just for me personally, a little bit more livable. But Tagatella is back here like destroying my backyard girl I will I will mess you up here she's actually going to pee back here and her destruction's really low but I'm pretty sure she has a toy so she shouldn't yeah come get a toy and of course she broke the toilet so she's gonna go ahead and call the repair technician she wants to solve a case and no we're not gonna repair the toilet um we're gonna have Isabella go ahead and wake up right now as well she'll use the toilet take a quick shower and then i'm gonna have her come downstairs and work on her work on her fire truck for a little bit we're gonna maintain it and improve the horsepower oh we can upgrade the fire alarm <gasps> Ooh. It's officially spring, too. Yes, finally. I was so sick of winter. The snow was ridiculous. This sim winter, it was snowing every freaking day, constantly, I swear. But yeah, like I said, this part's going to be mostly... You're not hanging up holiday lights, girl. It's over. This part's mostly going to be... Is she stuck? Is she stuck? No? Oh, okay. Um, like I was saying, this part's mostly going to be skill building because they need to build quite a bit of skills. But she's going to go... Actually, I'll have her serve breakfast for everybody. She'll go serve some pancakes so everybody can wake up Sunday morning. I think that is the best thing. Waking up Sunday morning and there's breakfast made. My mom surprises me all the time. She'll like make a big breakfast and I'm just like, girl, yes. She actually did it yesterday. Yeah, that was nice. But then I, like, brought some food to my bedroom, and I was sitting on the floor. I don't know why. I was sitting on the floor with my food and my laptop, and I ended up falling asleep, <laughs> like, sitting up. And my dog ate my my breakfast. It was really sad. But did we break something else? <gasps> wow. 
Okay. Anyways, cool. Dogatella Lemon has learned the non-destructive trait. She will now restrain herself from targeting your furniture. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, she's feeling a little lonely. Well, we're going to work on the fire truck and such for now, but we'll definitely train her a little bit later. So Alexander is fully rested. I'm going to let the repair technician go ahead and fix that. Or you know what? No, he'll wake up. It is a bit early for him, but he can get over it. He'll come downstairs and wait for some food and then he'll eat. Ben is still in bed, but same with him. He'll go ahead and wake up and come eat. But there's so many dishes on this freaking lot. So much to clean. And also, I've been getting a lot of questions lately regarding generations and when it's coming. I did like a you now, in case you don't know what a you now is. It's pretty much where I live stream, just like me talking. And I said that it's going to come December 1st, not December 1st. <laughs> the holidays are over. Well, we still have New Year's, but it's going to come January 1st, just so we can start the new year on a happy, bright note. So yeah, sorry for the delay. I feel like I get that comment so much. So I just... Throw that out here for if you're watching this video. Now you know. <laughs> but anyways, um, no, we're not hanging holiday lights. It's over, unfortunately. He wants to watch the Weather Channel. You know what? Don't give the dog attention. Oh, poor dogatella. We're going to come over here and we're going to check the weather because I am so curious on what the weather's going to be. I never check the weather in my game and it is a logical thing to do. So we're just going to check it real quick. All right, so currently it is sunny. Tomorrow it will be sunny. Tuesday, light rain. Wednesday and Thursday, heavy rain. But Friday, it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty hot Friday. So maybe we'll do like a beach day or our Sims will go to the beach for a little bit. Flowers aren't the only thing blossoming. Love is in the air as the spring festival pulls into town. Hurry on over. The annual egg hunt has already begun. Take a turn at the kissing booth. Ooh. Ooh, or we can do it ourselves for some tips. Oh my gosh, we should take Miss Mary Baker to the Love Festival sometime. That'd be nice. You know what I'm actually going to have him do after he has breakfast? Oh, it's already done. Okay, let's go grab our pancakes. Alexander, you can come do the same, buddy. We are going to get some new scrap. And I'm going to have Ben, Benny Boy invent because the only thing left i believe for him to learn is the sim bot so we might be having a couple of new people entering the family of course alex are you kidding me are you are you serious i did not know about this i would have paid the bills looks like your household bills have gone unpaid for too long the repo man is on his way can i not have anything nice because it's it seems like that's what this world is coming to when it's when it comes to my ambitions family. I didn't know. I would have paid. I would have. All right, here we go again. Third time this freaking LP. Third time. Oh, Just don't steal anything from my kitchen because I just decorated it. Go attack something else. Go attack the neighbors. I, I literally can't. Now my Sims are going to have the negative mood lit. Here we go. All right, Portia, can you please do the dishes? All right, and then I'm going to have Alexander, I guess, start working on his cooking skill. I'm not sure if we have the cooking skill level one. Let's see, do we? No, we don't. We don't, we don't, we don't. At least I don't think we do. I don't think so. Oh, it's raining. Oh. Um, we will head to the store really quickly and get the cooking level one. All right. Oh, does she have the cooking? No, she has recipes. Oh, that's right. Off camera, I actually had Isabella go get the key to the city, which is actually pretty darn awesome. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the flowers somewhere else. I love the flowers because they're so pretty. But this is this is huge. It's a key to the freaking city. So, you know, obviously this is a huge deal. Oh, it's actually really cute. I like that decoration. So I think I'm going to move the flowers somewhere else really quickly. Maybe... We'll put it in Portia's room, I guess, for now. And we'll put the key to the city on the coffee table. Because we legitimate now. We legit. All right. Can I center it? No, maybe not. Really? All right. Well, that's good enough. All right. Coolness. 
But Ben Kota, are you almost done with your pancakes? What is... Oh, he has a flame fruit. I was like, is that a life fruit? Nope, it's not. <laughs> okay, he is going to purchase some scrap. We'll purchase 50 things of it. Since, you know, the Repo Man's on his way anyways to take my house apart. So I might as well just spend my money, right? Okay, and he is going to... Do I still not have enough? No, no, he has not discovered everything. No, he has not. Don't let him fool you. Why does it say that? Huh. Maybe I don't have enough scrap and it's just saying that. I'm not sure. But once it stops raining, I would love to go collect some scrap. But I guess we'll travel to the future. Ben, I have Portia doing the dishes. Don't worry about it, boo. Yes, you go travel to the future. And Portia is going to do the dishes. The Repo Man's about to be here. Actually tragic. It sounds like a freaking twister out there. My goodness. Speaking of which, oh my gosh, the tornado in freaking... Can we just take a second? The tornado in... Oh. oh, I thought the Repo Man was here. The tornado in Texas. That was crazy. I was watching night clips of it uh, last night, and it's just insane how much destruction it did and how big the storm was it was literally a monster but okay alexander is at the store we're gonna go ahead and pick up our cooking book level one and i believe he also needed gardening yeah oh he can't afford that okay cooking it is <laughs> and he will head home I hope this part's not like too messy. Uh, it's just a lot of skill building. So we're all over the place and the repo man's coming to snatch my weave. So yay. And Isabel is all wet out here. I'm sorry, girl. Ben's in the time machine. Portia, did he clean up all the dishes? There we go. And we'll put the pancakes in the fridge. All right, and the repo man is here and apparently he has a thing for Isabella. Well, alrighty then. All right, Ben managed to snag a serious great seat at the 5,000th annual Super Shock and Ball game after selling his antique flashlight. Antique flashlight, okay. Ben even had a chance to catch a little of the planet-wide post-game party before the time stream opened. So I guess he sold his flashlight and they were like, this is ancient. That is so cute. <laughs> but uh, Isabella, what's she doesn't really need to work on anything other than the fire truck. She's like good. Oh, oh, she's actually a little hungry. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do, 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 eat some cocoa pancakes. Ooh, nice. And oh, the snow is gone. Yes, I'm excited for summer. I know this is crazy, but I'm excited for a sim summer because I've seen so much snow lately that I'm actually excited for like clear skies and no rain and no snow. I'm excited for it. But after she's done eating, she's going to just continue maintaining. All right, dude, why? Why is he doing this? Everything that could freaking advance Ben in his career, this guy just decides to snatch up. We're gonna fight, Wendell. Wow, so rude. But Alexander will go up into his room while Wendell snatches everything important up and he will read his book. Come on, read it. Really? Oh, that was in The Sims 2. I'm sorry. It's in The Sims 2 when they can read books like that. You know you play a lot of Sims. When? Oh my gosh, hello! No, I am so sorry. That is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Wow, I just wasted some millions. He is too skilled for the level 2. Duh, he's a level 3. Wow, I'm like actually pissed at myself right now. <laughs> that was... I was not thinking. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're going to go shop for books again. And wow, the town looks really nice right now. I forgot how freaking luscious and green this town was. I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, Portia, go ahead and clean this up. Okay, Ben was learning how to play a new board game from the cyborg, blue, 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 when... Vu the Destroyer showed up to eat the spaceship they were on. Luckily, Ben jumped back into the time stream before they became lunch. Uh, ben appeared accidentally in the middle of a crowd while time traveling, but nobody noticed. They were all cheering about how some shepherd just saved the galaxy from a huge ancient machine god threat. The celebration was definitely cool, though. They're talking about you, buddy. <laughs> and he's back. All right, I'm like so pissed 
that it's saying I can't invent anything. I guess I'll have him head over to the scrapyard right here and we'll just uh, dig through some of the scraps for now and hopefully we'll be able to bring home enough scrap and that will change. Let's just hope. But um, all right. Isabella is continuing to work. You know what? I will do her a favor so she's not out in the rain. She'll just head over to the fire station really quickly and work on it in here. Uh, because as you guys can see, we come over here, it still says like the same thing. I believe. Hold on. Wait. If it's two different trucks, then you best believe I'm not, I'm not working on that one. I'm not sure. Maybe. I, I believe it's the same, but you know, we'll just stay here for now. All right, Portia is going to... I don't think she's on a case right now. Ooh, oh, not that. I don't believe she's on a case. Why, why am I doing this? I forgot they're still dating. <laughs> Whoa, holy awkward. Okay, uh, yeah, she's currently not working on any cases. So I'll just have her go upstairs. Um, when she's done with doing the laundry, she's like helping out around the house, which is very shocking. But then she'll go ahead and play some chess for a little bit. Alexander's almost at the bookstore. Isabella, are you done? Oh, here we go. All right, we're going to go ahead and collect the cooking. No, no, I'm not doing that again. Almost bought the cooking level skill one once again. Not happening. We're going to purchase number two. Can we even afford it? Oh my goodness. This whole part is so tragic. <laughs> I can't even afford it. I can't even afford the freaking book. And is that some puke on the floor? It is. Okay. Alexander. Buddy. Good old friend. Just come on home, buddy. Just come on home. He'll clean up the vomit. Didn't get the book he wanted. Gets graded by some puke. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Living the vida loca. Am I right, guys? Yeah. He'll use the restroom and then head upstairs and... Oh, they all got paid. Are you kidding me? We couldn't get paid. And then, you know, I don't know. The repo man could have decided not to come. Wow. No, now we can go get his freaking book. Oh, this game. This game is really not my friend today. Okay, we're going to go shop for some more books. Like, he was already almost home. <sighs> Unreal. Anyways, Isabella Vega got 2,480 simoleons. She is doing so well. Portia received 1,350 and Alexander received 640. All right, Ben's collecting all of his scraps still. I'm back to the store with Alexander. All right, here we go again. We're going to pick up the cooking skill two. And while we're at it, we'll pick up the gardening book as well. And just to be a little snazzy, we'll pick up some recipes. You guys know the cooking skills, my all time favorite skills, so. It only makes sense for me to pick some up. I know Isabella has learned a few recipes. So, oh, here's the ambrosia. Yes, it is. Oh, it's actually cheaper than I thought it was. It's only 6,000 simoleons. Okay, so it's actually half the price of what I thought it was. But yes, we're eventually going to be all the way up there and we'll be able to make ceviche and stuffed turkey and stuffed torso key, whatever that is. Yeah, how exciting. So we're going to buy our books and it is absolutely storming out. And what's going on back here? <laughs> we're going to destroy these. Guys, tis the season not. Tis time to die. The only fight Alexander will ever win. Actually, he beat Portia up and won. Throwback to that. What's up with all the old people in this town? It's like they're all chilling. They're all just chilling, all the elderly, and then there's just this random vampire, like, all right, you all want to die? Well, guess what? Today's your lucky day. Scary. Um, let's actually head to the grocery store. We should honestly buy a lotto ticket. I'm going to buy a lotto ticket just to buy a lotto ticket. And oh my gosh, Justin. Okay, what's going on over here? All right, you two. Calm down. PDA, PDA. But Justin's always ignoring us, always saying he's busy, but here he is, just leaving the store. 
doing his own thing like what are you doing why why are you always so busy actually me when like nobody knew about my youtube channel really it was just like my really close friends my family and like people would be like hey why are you so busy like just come over and i'd just be like i can't right now i'm sorry hmm maybe just in case is making let's plays huh <laughs> anyways um Ben has collected all the scrap in this pile. That's 26 units of scrap. Ben found the Avant. Who would throw that away? What in the world is the Avant? I don't know what the Avant is, but apparently maybe it's in our household inventory. We'll have to check that out when we get home. But uh, yeah, we're just going to head in here and see if there's like any cute little foods we can take home. Oh, we bought a lottery ticket. Duh. Okay, we bought our lottery ticket, and now we're going to go shop for some groceries. I'm thinking maybe we'll just get a couple of watermelons, even though it's technically not summer yet. We'll just get a couple to eat. Um, maybe, maybe some swordfish. It could have, like, fish one night. That'd be kind of nice. All right, we'll get some watermelon, a couple of pears. Some peaches and some oranges. We'll get a few oranges because I like oranges. And I think I think that's good. Maybe some tofu. All right, cool. Just picked up some groceries and a lottery ticket. Hopefully we win because I actually had an idea um, that if we did win the lottery really beneficial i was thinking for portia she could rent out like an office like a detective's office right above the consignment store because if you go in here there is like so much space in here and it'd just be nice to like have a little office even if it cost me freaking how much to buy this oh well one hundred thousand. <gasps> that's a lot of money maybe we could do like um, oh, actually, now that I think about it, I placed down a bakery over here. We could purchase the bakery and then Bliss could work here and that could be like really cute, you know, and above somewhere like we can add up like another spiral staircase and Portia could have an office on the very top. It could be like a family friend sort of business and that could be kind of cute, you know. So yeah, I uh, placed down this bakery, and since Plus is now a teenager, she can work on her baking skills. So we're definitely going to be doing that with her. And oh my gosh, there's coffee here. Tempted, honestly tempted to come here. You know what, Alexander? We're going to come here really quickly, and we're going to order a um, chai with caramel swirl. Yes, sounds so good. But I should probably get these groceries home, but we'll just wait just a second. He'll come here and just read one of his books. The food should still be good. I didn't get any meat or anything, so we should be good. Buy a new bookshelf. We could do that for you, buddy. Jesus! Okay! Wow! Isabella is currently playing with Dogatella. Okay, good. Give her attention. She was not feeling herself earlier. But I think we have enough scraps to hopefully invent something and let's see this one is gonna sell the newspaper and you're not done working on your logic skill i don't even think you freaking leveled up once what are you doing dude go practice your chess go on get stuff done and i think i'm actually going to hire a maid since we are working people uh it would just make a little bit more sense for them to constantly be cleaning the house so we're going to call for services hire a maid i feel like i have not hired a maid in so long so oh a butler would be awesome but we're not divas not yet this is not late night we're not gonna order a butler even though that would be awesome we're just going to hire a maid cleaning your house would be my pleasure well good and in fact we're gonna go buy ourselves a little ice cream treat because we can it's raining out it's disgusting out but ice cream man ice cream and we're gonna buy ourselves a. I always go with the fudge popsicles because I just really love fudge popsicles, but we'll do. Uh, I'm tied between the ice cream cone and the freezer bunny popsicle. We'll do the freezer bunny popsicle. Yes. Let's see it. 
Oh my gosh. Now I'm in the mood for like one of those SpongeBob little popsicles where the eyes and everything are really creepy. I, I'm totally down for that. She's just going to eat her ice cream. Have a nice little day. She's actually freezing outside. Wow. She's freezing. And I just had her buy ice cream. The logic. But okay. I think everything fire truck wise. Girl, finish it. Well, she's getting cold. Okay. So come inside and improve the fire alarm. And then you can work on that another time. Alexander, did you get your coffee? Did he drink it already? I think he did. Are you in a good mood? Yes, he just needs to use the potty really quickly. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys like the little bakery idea? I just think it'd be really cute and, I don't know, kind of fun to own a business in The Sims 3, which is definitely very odd, but I could combine the whole baking uh, aspect with the cash register in here, but then also place down some, like, little, um, what are they called? Little menus from the bistro set from the sims 3 store and then we could make it like a half bakery half restaurant i think that'd be kind of nice but he's just going to do that and then read his cooking book for a little bit and then uh we'll we'll have him head home just a bit but all right benny boy let's see if now he can invent his stuff can you no that is so annoying maybe i'm doing something wrong i'll search it up uh after this video. I'm going to have him once again travel to the future. I like traveling to the future because it increases our chances of getting another sim to move in. It'd be like Ben's kid from the future and they'd move into the household and it'd just be really fun. So I'm going to have him go ahead and jump in there and just see, you know, eventually we'll, we'll get the kid. <laughs> but he's outside in the rain reading his book. Sucks to suck. Uh, Isabella's working on the fire alarm. He's in the future. Oh, is he already out? Oh, they are just not having him today. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Can I speak today? No. He's going to go take a shower. And Portia, dude, why are you not working on your skill? It's like she, she likes to misbehave. Oh, it was me. I'm sorry, but we're still going to blame it on Portia. Okay. We'll move this right here for now. <laughs> I'm just yelling at Portia. It's like you like to misbehave. Oh my gosh. It's like you want to get spanked. It's like, whoa. Whoa, Christina. Portia wasn't doing anything wrong. Relax. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be ending this part rather soon. It's almost 30 minutes long, and this part was mostly skill building, like I told you guys. We didn't even get too much of that done. <laughs> but I'm trying. It's just so much that has to be done. And she has a mood like, yummy goodness, good. But yeah, definitely, since we have about 3,000, almost 4,000 simoleons, I would like to kind of just reconstruct this house a little bit. Uh, I definitely could do it with the funds that we have, for sure. Um, no doubt in mind. But yeah, I'll, I'll be doing that off camera. I'll actually film it so I can attach it in the next video for you guys. Like, back in the old days when I would like to do the little speed builds prior to... The video but ben okay go ahead and i guess we'll put the dirty clothes in our inventory real quick okay <sighs> why i'm so confused i should be able to really I guess not, but we do need to work on a new miner, so I guess he'll go ahead and do that. What's he want to do here? Do laundry? Well, we have a maid now, so. Okay. Okay, I get it. I'm going to end this part in just a second. My goodness. Wow. But yes, we're just going to wrap up the day. It's currently 530. We'll just wait until mm, about 9 p.m. or so. And then we'll go ahead and wrap this part up. I'm going to have Alexander come home. He's almost done with his book. So he'll go ahead and finish that at home. Nobody cleaned up the puke. So I'm just going to have Alexander do it again because I'm getting really sick of looking at puke. And Dogatella peed in the house. She's like, dude, she just learned how to be non-destructive. But then she pees in the house. Makes no sense. All right, we're going to scold her prior to cleaning up her puke. <laughs> animals for you literally animals are like that I don't know they if you guys have experienced this but my animals have super intense personalities like they are humans 
anybody who's met my animals, they're like, okay, Gigi's the crazy one. Legitimately, Gigi is insane. I'm talking the neighbors know who she is. She knocks on people's doors. She's a freak. And my freak, though, you know, I love her so much. I'm a freak, too. That's probably what my mom says about me. That's my freak. Just kidding. My mom's like, I don't know her. <laughs> Suddenly, I can't see. Um, But yeah, Gigi's the crazy one. Gabby is like the baby. She's she's my dog, in case you guys don't know. The other two are my mom's. But Gabby is my baby baby my soul my everything she's the baby of the bunch and uh, oh my gosh she's just like a baby she's like a baby love her too much and then Gronk is the only boy the middle child he smells he's a bulldog but he smells like nothing I've smelled before I'm talking so bad we bring him to the groomers he gets all cleaned but Oh my, I like, I can't even be around him sometimes, put it that way. It is that bad. But Gronk is kind of just like, I don't know, I guess the bonehead of the group. He's just not all there. He has a lot of personality too, though. Like when you say, Gronk, want to go on a walk? He runs to the front door and he will slam it open. They don't mess around in this house. They do not mess around. They know how to slam open doors. They know how to knock. It's crazy. My dog, Gabby because she knows where my room is and she likes to be in my room like constantly when I shut my door because I'm like filming or I'm doing something she'll literally bang on my door like she'll bang her body against my door to get in the more you know this is my life on the daily yeah animals <sighs> never have more than like one or two dogs because once you have three you're pushing the limits you're pushing the limits because those animals they like they like attention all right and they will fight for it verbally physically it does not matter they will fight for it but yeah guys now that I've rambled literally I think this whole part was just me rambling I apologize for that uh but I think we got a bit done <laughs> we didn't really improve too many skills but we upgraded a lot of the fire truck um actually not too much <laughs> But we're working on it. She's working on the bell right now. I'll definitely play a bit more off camera so they can get stuff done. I'm going to research why Ben can't freaking build a sim bot. And Alexander has officially begun to collect the things he needs or kind of collect the things he needs for uh, his ghost wifey. I think in the next part we'll go pick out a random ghost tomb or something at the uh, graves, the graveyard. I cannot speak. I'm so sorry. All right, guys, I love you all so much, and I will see you all next time.